Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Hughes back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 13. This is the iOS version a lot of people have been waiting for because we expect to see so many new things on this new iOS version, which we haven't seen since iOS 7. So let's talk about the possible release date, its features and also which devices will be supported by iOS 13. First of all, let's talk about support. Currently, the oldest iPhone which is supported by iOS 12 is this guy right here, the iPhone 5S. I was really expecting Apple to ditch this iPhone with iOS 12, but they did not. They went ahead and supported this device as well on the newest release, which is iOS 12. But I expect that to change this year. This guy right here, the iPhone 5S, will no longer be supported by Apple and by iOS 13. And this guy right here, the iPhone 6, is expected to take its place. So the iPhone 6 will most likely be the oldest iPhone which will be supported by iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone 6, you're in good luck, you will have iOS 13 on your device. So iOS 13 will support the iPhone 6 and of course the newer iPhones. Now let's move on to the release date. Now last year Apple released iOS 12 beta 1 on June 4th. That was the day of the keynote of course and of course we can expect them to do the same this year. So iOS 13 beta 1 will be released probably on June 3rd or June 10th. One of these dates will be the day of the keynote where Apple will show us iOS 13 and release the first beta of iOS 13 to desk. And then a few months after on September you can expect it to be released to the public. So the date is usually the next Monday after the event, the iPhone event. So this year we can expect Apple to, to hold the iPhone event either on the 10th or the 17th of September and then you can expect it to you can expect iOS 13 to be released the next Monday. So if they hold the event on September 10th, you can expect iOS 13 to be released on the, on the 16th or if the event is held on September 17th, you can expect iOS 13 on September 23rd. And now let's talk about features. So in this video, I will focus on two main features which I believe will be released with iOS 13. And first of them, dark mode. So I know a lot of people have been expecting Apple to release dark mode on iOS for quite a long time. And there are like glimpses of dark mode within iOS. And of course there's smart invert, which is kind of cool, but it's not really a dark mode. And we can really believe that Apple will release a dark mode on iOS 13. If you just go ahead and go to the camera on iOS 12 and you force touch on the picture there, you can see it will enter a kind of like dark mode, which gives us hopes that Apple is working in the background on a dark mode and it will release it on iOS 13. Hopefully that will happen. And another feature everyone has been waiting for years now is of course the redesign of the springboard. So according to Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, Apple is redesigning the home screen. This home screen redesign will be focused mainly on the iPad, but of course the iPhone will get a redesigned home screen as well. So the springboard of the iPhone will be redesigned with iOS 13. And I know a lot of people are really, really excited for that. It will make your iPhone look a bit different, which hasn't happened since iOS 7. So that is it for this video guys, thank you guys for watching, these are some of the features that we are expecting to see on iOS 13, also the release date and the devices that will be supported. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more and we'll see you guys on the next one.